Hello and welcome to Avenging Pass 7. This is day 15 of our free-to-play account going through Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-Earth. And we actually have some stuff that we can talk about. Um, first, we'll talk about this game with, it looks like Arwen is going to be up. Oh, yeah, here we go. Lady Arwen Undomiel, the only daughter of Elrond Half-Elven. Arwen learned many skills from the best that both Rivendell and Lorien have to offer. Let Arwen work with you to control the chaos. So, Arwen is coming to Heroes of Middle-Earth sooner than we might think. And that's awesome. Okay, why do you not have an easy way to click through all of these? Of course they don't. Why would they? Um, but that's cool. Also, why did that not come into, into the news tab? But Arwen is coming to here as a Middle Earth, and that's cool. <clears throat> um, I was talking with someone the other day. Oh, and they expanded to Chest of Training and Lost Treasure. Okay, so you can get gold or character XP. I don't feel like that is worth it, but it is, I guess, something. Oh, and we got we got character gold and a token out of this. That's cool. I like that. See, they're, they're making the game better. They are making the game better for the user experience, and that is nice. Oh, well, looks like there's a lot more in the shop now. Definitely want to pick these up. I have to get those all the time. Uh, let's see. Parchment I have to grab all the time. Um, so yeah, uh, the other thing is that I think a trailer or gameplay video came out for the Gollum game that's coming out soon. I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen the fan reaction. And fans had a reaction. Or I, I say fans, people had reactions. People did or are not liking how this game looks. They are heavily criticizing the way that Gollum looks. Which, I can understand, you know, you're going to have some criticism over it. These are characters that are beloved, but not just beloved, have... Everyone knows what Gollum looks like because everyone has seen Lord of the Rings. Or seen Gollum from Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. And, of course... This is not going to be Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings Gollum game. Let's see, how quickly can we swap between characters? That wasn't too bad a wait. Um, th this is a brand new take on Gollum trying to tell the story uh, between The Hobbit and Fellowship. That That's just what it is. It, I mean, what more do you want out of it? And, but so because of that, these the creators are going to come up with their own look for Gollum. Try and keep them accurate to probably book description. Probably try and feel similar to the movies. But they probably don't have rights to the likenesses from the movie. I did see one criticism where someone was actually critiquing the uh, gameplay. And I don't think that they had liked the gameplay. But I'm, I'm going to look into it because I'm... I'm I know that I will want to play this game, whether I will or not. I don't know. I want to play Spider-Man 2. Okay, here we go. Bitter, The Bitter and Sweet Marquee Adventure starts in six days. Awesome. Do we, Are there any requirements? I see rewards. I don't see requirements. We'll have to see. But there you go. If you have been farming elves, you'll have Arwen. You will be ready for Arwen. So that's awesome. I'm glad that they're doing that. I mean, that's not... That's what, 15, 16 days? I mean, I did miss a day, so 16 days. And we're getting a brand new character marquee event. I don't feel like that's too bad a wait. I feel like that's pretty good. Um, try and, you know, have some kind of new thing once or twice a month. Maybe, you know, maybe 15 days apart. Every, you know, every... Every month or so, have something new for people to 
go through, play, enjoy, and people will enjoy. People will be happy with that. Uh, let's see. We gotta get our we gotta get our dark side characters built up soon. So that way that way we can go for. Is it Mary? I think Mary's the one that I don't have. Okay, that is not the energy I wanted to spend. That was Ugluck. So who's the other one? Maurhur. What do I have him at? Two star. But we gotta start spending this energy so that way we can get him built up. Let's see, what? where can we go after Golbers? He's been kind of fun to have. I guess I'll, you know, I'll level him up one level. I need to do a level anyways, and I need to equip some gear. Okay, it looks like you buy him in the arena shop. Alright, well, there we go. That's our, you know, that's Lord of the Rings, Heroes of Middle-Earth. Comment down below, are you excited about Arwen coming to the game? I would expect a lot of people are going to be excited about that one. Um, are, are you working and building up your orcs, or are you have you been working on some different teams? I've been enjoying seeing the different teams that people have been working on and going after. Because um, it's, it's fun to see what have people done differently in the game than me. Even without there being like specific goals, people are coming up with their own goals of what they want. And it's been fun to see how people have played the game differently or who they've gone different than I've gone after. So that's been fun, so comment that down below. But with all of that said, y'all have a fantastic day, and may the stars shine upon your face.